What's shaking bacons? Or what's shaking bacons? T universe here, guys. The place to be to be bold, be great, and above all, be you. Uh, I talk about building a business and life that you hopefully you love. I mean, that's kind of important, right? So this is day number um, three with the goal setting, goal getting um, video series that I've been creating. And this is important because over the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you how to get instant results in your business. Now, I happen to be a word wizard. Yeah, they call me the word wizardry, wizard, whatever. They call me the word wizard. Just put it that way, because I happen to be the ultimate manifesto of posting something on social media and getting everyone who's reading it who wanted to join my business. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna teach you right now how to get instant results in your business. So here's the good news, guys, that there's a video that's gonna pop up right now and it's gonna be going over some Facebook tips on how to get instant results in your business. So sit back, enjoy, and look out for day number four, which is coming at you very, very soon, like tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. Be bold, be great, and above all, be you. Hey guys, Tiana here. And today in this video, I actually just want to just do this really quick training on how you can continue to keep your Facebook uh, friends and family and prospects engaged with you with posts that you've done uh, maybe a year ago or last week or last month. And, you know, one thing that I've learned on this entrepreneur journey is that, you know, the more people who you know, have the eyeballs on you and what you're doing, the higher your chances are obviously of closing people, getting them in what you have to offer, having them become customers, having them become uh, maybe your partner if you're in network marketing. And so here are some things that I've actually just kind of created and it's really quick, it's gonna be a really quick video, really quick training on uh, how to keep them engaged. So as an example, I'll log in right now to Facebook and one thing that uh, I learned just throughout this journey of um, learning how to build my business and build my prospects and build customer base from the internet standpoint um, is that, you know, using free platforms like YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram can really just skyrocket your business to be completely honest with you. And so I want to, oh, look at, there's Yvonne, she's on my team. I want to actually show you guys this really quickly and what you're going to have, you're going to have a breakthrough when you really see how simple, but yet how effective uh, this process is. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my actual Facebook timeline really quickly. Um, I live near an airport, so sometimes my computer moves a little bit slower than normal when an airplane goes over my house. <laughs> um, and so, okay, so you want to ask yourself a few different questions. You know, sometimes people, like, from what I've learned and what I've seen in the offline marketing world, a lot of people tend to, you know, blast their, what they do. They blast the company that they're in. And, you know, when you kind of do things and you post something on Facebook, the first thing that people think about when you approach your business like that is they think that you're trying to sell them something. So I've always taken like a, a, a back end approach to everything where instead of me marketing a product or service or a company, I market myself, my knowledge and my business. And so we'll just use this as an example, guys. So let's just go with this picture right here. So we'll click on my profile picture my newest one that I just uploaded. And guys, this can be done on any post. What you want to do is you want to look at what posts have the most engagement, what posts have the most interaction. And it can be from last month, it can be from last year, it can be from, oh, another airplane. Can you guys hear it, the airplane? Um, it can be from last month, it can be from last year, it can be from last week. And so here's what you want to do. I'm just going to use my profile picture just as a basic example for, for it. So. Uh, I'm gonna click on my profile picture, obviously. I'm gonna view it. And this picture that I just posted, I think I posted it last week. Um, I changed my profile picture last week. So so what I end up doing, guys, as this loads, because there's an airplane, what I end up doing is I go through post and I go through pictures. Post and pictures, obviously, that have the most engagement, the most audience engagement, meaning that I wanna see what picture has the most likes and I wanna see what picture has the most comments. Or I wanna see what post has the most likes and what posts have the most comments. So this is just an example. Um, I did it on October 23rd, and it was 40, what, 40, 44, 45, 46, 47 people actually liked this picture, and there was, you know, I don't know, there was, you know, a few different comments, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, like maybe 12 comments, something like that. So the way that you can keep your audience completely engaged with you is normally we do what? We like when somebody comments on our picture. We like it. Sometimes we, we take the time to respond. So here's one way to keep them engaged. Because everyone that has commented um, on this picture, 
they're, you know, they may not be in your business. They may not be, they're not in my business, right? My offline business or, you know, from an online standpoint, not even in my online business. And so what you can do is right here where it says write a comment, this stuff gets really fun and really simple because all you have to do, if you want eyes on what you have to offer, right here where it says comment, all you have to do is to go back to maybe a video that you've done uh, about your company, about your product, or your service, take that YouTube URL link and just literally paste it right here uh, where it says comment in the comment box. That way, what this does is it actually gets everyone that's commented on your Facebook post or picture, they can see this. And they're, they're basically alerted that, hey, Tiana just posted on a picture that you liked or a picture that you commented on it. And so what you end up getting is you get people to go back and they become engaged in a video you just did about your product or service. Also, the really cool thing is that you can even comment and put your capture page right there on pictures and posts. And you don't have to do it with just one, guys. You can do it with like, oh my God, 10 different posts that have 10 different amazing engagements um, that you've written over the last six months or so. So you can do that as well. You can throw your capture page there. You can even throw your blog post right here, right here where the comment is. You know, you can just throw your blog post. Um, you can throw your video on YouTube, like I said. And guys, that actually alerts them that, you, that your video is there and that you are still present. And if I were you and the tables will turn, I would post something about your company's product or service, but mainly focus on posting a picture or I mean posting, I'm sorry, a video uh, that you personally did about what you have going on. So those are ways to keep people engaged who aren't in your business, who aren't buying your product or service as of yet, and they're actually more engaged to what you offer. And it reminds them that, hey, you know, you're doing this thing with or without them, but it could be with them. So that's just the tip of the day for me. And uh, listen, oh, as you watch this uh, quick little video, be sure that somewhere around this, uh, this video is a link. And it might be above this video, it might be below this video, but there is a link. And uh, go ahead and click that link and, and I'll see you on the inside to give you a free 15 minute coaching session with me. What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel now and get literally real time updates on all my videos that I do. And, uh, and I have some really amazing trainings coming out here pretty soon. So thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye.